Welcome folks, Technivorous here. This is Kira. Now Kira is a 3D object slicing application. It's used in conjunction with your 3D printer to make almost anything. But how does it work? Stick around and find out. We'll go over each setting one by one, each in five minutes or less. And be sure to bookmark this playlist and hit that subscribe button. Please feel free to share. It helps us out a ton. And now without further ado, today on Kira Settings in 5 Minutes or Less 2021 Edition. Technivers channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash technivorous. Technivers channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. All right, and welcome back to another Kira Tutorials in 5 Minutes or Less. Today we are going to be discussing the top and bottom pattern in the shell settings. Now, as you can see here, at the moment I currently have it set to zigzag. There are only three patterns for the top and bottom pattern, so it's not the same as the infill where there are several different variations. Basically, you have the zigzag, concentric, and lines pattern. Now, lines and zigzag, I'll show you in just a second, are going to look very, very similar, except with the zigzag pattern, you get this contiguous line here where it continues the same line along the outer wall path. If I switch over to lines here, we can show you the difference. And it is going to take just a second to load. After I show you this, I'll show you the concentric as well. Concentric is exactly what it sounds like, where basically it follows the outer perimeter of the model in its shape until it fills in the middle. So while we're waiting for this to slice here, I'm going to go ahead and leave it. We're just going to talk about a couple more things while we're on the subject. So you also have the bottom pattern initial layer. Now this is the pattern on the bottom of the print on the first layer. So this is technically not the same thing as this and they can be set to two different settings now this is going to be the very very first layer of the model itself this is going to be the pattern for the top or bottom so this is going to be affected by your top or bottom thickness as you can see we have seven top layers so if i were to change this i would get excuse me seven bottom layers if i were to change this i would get one layer in the initial pattern and then the six remaining layers would come out in the top and bottom pattern you can see here that these lines are no longer connected it does an extra outer perimeter wall and then it connects into that so there is a difference although it is a slight difference it's going to determine how well the bottom surface of your model is attached to the walls itself now there's really no major structural difference and if your printer is dialed in properly you really shouldn't see anything as far as a notable difference in the base on the on the difference between these two patterns so Let's jump over and check out Concentric, and I will show you why it is a very nice thing to try, but not necessarily the best mode for all of your slicing needs. So Concentric is great, except for the fact that sometimes you get some funky shapes. And when it comes to laying down the first layer in shapes, corners like this are the first part that want to sort of peel up from the bed and not stick properly. So instead of having lines going zigzag like this, where the corners might lift up, it's going to do a contiguous line around the inside following the contour of the model's base. Then it's gonna move in a little bit and do another line in the same shape. So this gives you a very, very nice bottom surface, but isn't necessarily the best choice for all models. Say you have a lot of awkward geometry. If we look here, you can see that it can't exactly make this concentric exactly to the model. You see, concentric would be to follow this line around exactly and get smaller and smaller. But what you see here are a varying pattern of different straight lines. So it's doing as good of a job as it can to make these concentric, but as the angles widen here, um, you can see it becomes more and more broken up and there are really no round curves like these nice round spots here. So when it meets a spot like this, so I have one, two, three, four, five places where it's going to be six, where it's going to be finishing the surface and attaching it to the bed, basically. Um, so this isn't exactly the best shape for concentric because it's going to take a lot more time 
to print around and then when it gets to these parts where it can't continue on in that concentric pattern you're going to get a lot of broken up spots that it's going to be doing a lot of jumping around to finishing these pieces and if we switch back to either the lines or the zigzag mode it will do pretty much a contiguous line across the whole thing which will save you some travel time which will save you some print time because anytime you're traveling without laying down filament it's kind of a waste of movement so We'll slice this one more time. I'll show you exactly what I was talking about there, and then we'll wrap this up. The next video we are going to do in this playlist is going to skip a couple of these things here, and we are going to jump right to fill gaps between walls. That is a very, very, very important thing, as well as print thin walls. So these will be lumped together, these three, in the next section, so stay tuned for that. And it should be up tomorrow at about the same time this one came up today. So as you can see here, it is doing a pretty good job. Now, you have to keep in mind there are still some travel moves. So as it goes here, let's zoom in here. Um, it looks like it's putting this down. Oh, I moved the model. My bad. It looks like it's putting this down in one contiguous line. But when it gets to here, um, it's not going to continue on and print that line. It's going to come back and keep printing. So basically, when it gets to this point here, it'll continue on in that direction, but then it'll have to come back and fill in this section later. Uh, for the most part, if we examine this, we're going to have probably three spots, four spots where it jumps like that, and that is still two less travel movements than the other slicing style. So really no major difference as far as print quality, but changing the bottom pattern can reduce or increase your print time pretty drastically. So pay attention to that play around with it, find out what works best for you. And just because something's working on one model, if you have issues getting it to print, you don't have to stick with it. You can switch it up, try another type of finish or another type of surface and see what that pattern does for you. So um, yeah, like I said, you're gonna get these four lines and then it'll jump to this contiguous line. So basically anything that's not connected to the wider part of the model, all of these will go at once. Um, and it's determined by the angle of the line itself. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but the different patterns are useful for different things and definitely worth it. Well, that's it, guys. That's going to wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers. And so far, I am just about to hit 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel. But... They are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out and know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link. Check out our Patreon link. Leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.